Hello my soccer universe. Since this week I've taken a deep dive into Sturm Graz, which you can uh, watch right here if you wanted to. Um, and Sturm Graz is going to visit uh, Linz in a game against Lusk. So it's kind of Sturm Graz team I thought might be also a good idea to show you my first Sturm Graz jersey from my collection that I acquired in yeah about two years ago of posing. So uh, in the fall of 2021. It was a time when I basically had already broken down the barrier of not getting any other Austrian team uh, with an uh, Austria Salzburg jersey. And then there was an unpacking where um, I unpacked two further Austrian club shirts, one that I've already shown you here as well in Rapid. But I also wanted to get a Sturm jersey because for me those were at that time and with the exception of Austria, but at the time those were the four big teams in uh, in Austria. Yes, you need to add Austria Vienna as well, but those are the teams together with Lusk uh, that were set kind of to uh, stay in the league, dominate the league um, over years to come. And I gotta say, of all these teams, Sturm Graz is probably the one that I had always the least problem with um, with the team. I typically looked more into sporting rivalry than actually antith antipathy or, you know, any dislike. Yes, tough opponent, but I always had a lot of respect for the black and white team from Graz as well. So when I was looking for jerseys, um, you know, most uh, there was a time when you had a lot of them floating around for relatively good prices because Sturm Graz at the time, you know, around the uh, Corona break was... I don't want to say bad, but for their own ambitions, they were, uh, you know, barely making top four, if at all. And so, of course, this is something that dictates prices and you can, can get Sturmkast jerseys around here um, relatively easy. It is one of the most supported teams in Austria and therefore you uh, get a lot of jerseys. Um, so I was looking into it and I was going back and forth. You know, I ideally wanted to have a black and white striped one. Um, but uh, do I go majority black? Do I go to majority white? And right, right at the time, they just uh, had a home jersey with white and then went back into black. And it's very curious that, especially during the golden era, uh, Sturm Graz was mostly white at home, or m predominantly white. Whereas in later years, uh, it's either black and white stripes, but more dominantly black at home. So it was always kind of a give and take. In any case, um, at the same time as I got the Rapid jersey, literally the same time, Wilhaben had a special where uh, if you bought uh, with shipping, they would pay for the shipping except for uh, less than a euro. And I said, okay, this might be a good time uh, to finally uh, get a shirt. I was looking around and I came always back to this jersey. I really liked the design. I was not at the time aware whether this was a home or an away jersey, but you know, Lask has recently released a pinstriped Euro Euro European jersey. I have to say this was a design that I always enjoyed as well. And then as we'll see, it has a name set on there that basically sealed the deal for me, although I would not call uh, that player a classic Sturm Graz player. So I would say we look a little bit closer at this jersey and then we'll talk a little bit more about Sturm Graz during that time. So this shirt is from the time when Sturm was a cute Balotto who actually came out with a few very adventurous designs but for the 16-17 season where uh, this jersey was released for it actually went a little bit more classic. This here is the away jersey. The home jersey is more or less a straight reversal except that uh, the collar is not two sided and that's maybe the one thing that always held me back a little bit. Uh, that this side here is black and here it's majority, majority white. It, it makes a kind of a weird feeling color for me that I probably would have preferred to be the all black or all white. But small potatoes. I really think that the pinstripe look is really, really cool. I also like this in the Lotto logo. I hope the camera pick picks up. There's a little bit of a, a effect in there as well. And I have to have to say the Sturm Graz crest here is a nice silicone with a little bit of cloth feeling to it as, as well. It's really well done really nicely. Um, you would have here in the league the Austrian league logo as well. The sponsor here is completely sublimated. Now, another thing that might be a little bit odd is that the sleeve cuffs are in blue, which, you know, don't really fit with a black and uh, white team or majority white and black jersey. But you see already 
the sponsor here is blue and uh, that color carries over. Uh, I've said in my big video that the second color um, that one would associate with Sturmgras would you, you should be a green, but that's only the fans. The club itself has been using blue ever since. So yeah, the sponsor, of course, it's an Austrian league uh, shirt. The sponsor is rather big, but it's nicely sub submitted. And then I also like the tail has kind of this black on the bottom, which really would nice uh, be nice to have on top here. Uh, it's also interesting that the material on the sleeves is a much more grainier material. Um, I don't think it's meant ventilation, but it's a very interesting pattern. But let's turn the shirt around. Up top you see 1909, the year of the founding. We again have Pontegam and then we have number 13, Piesinger. Uh, now, when I saw it, I didn't make too much uh, connection, uh, but I always know when I get a name, name that I want to check out the player a little bit. And what, what I find something I really, really liked, uh, it's Simon Piesinger, who actually was born in Linz. Not only born in Linz, he played also for the team that is right in the neighborhood, St. Magdalena, where I grew up in. So I thought this is a real sign. He came through the Academy of Lusk, he also played for the other team, blah, 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 blah Linz, and then from 2014 2017 he actually uh, was playing for Sturm Graz uh, then going Alter, Randers in Denmark and uh, currently he's playing in um, Wolfsburg for Wolfsburger AC. What I really like about this name is that uh, not only is the font um, kind of an italicized font but I really like the ST from the Sturm Graz flag also being in there which is a really really nice touch. So during my video, I described the phase that uh, Sturm Graz was in a kind of a soul search phase. It was actually the 1670 season was uh, a season where things were looking up on the up again after kind of a, a few seasons of mediocrity. Of course, it helped that uh, Franco Foda had his third stint as a Sturm Graz coach. And usually when he took over, he once brought them to a championship. He was before in the golden era. He was a player. He came back and almost immediately Sturm Graz played really, really well being league leaders for 13 rounds and even by the winter break however in the end they only finished in third place three points between us Austrian and then quite a distance over 20 points between champions Red Bull Salzburg so um, it was kind of I, I would say a regenerative season that starts out well and then maybe a little bit disappointing at the end but it was um, definitely Sturm Graz on the upswing Fortunately or unfortunately for, for them, Franco Foda didn't stick around for too much longer as he was called by the Austrian national team just in a year later in 2018. In any case, this is my first Sturm Graz uh, jersey that I have in my collection. Let me know what you think about the jersey. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!